At least 118 attacks since October 17th. Joining us now is Dave McCormick, Republican Senate candidate in Pennsylvania. You are in Israel. You went there for a variety of reasons. We will get to all of those. But can I just ask you first about your sense of the security situation in the region, especially when it comes to our soldiers, our forces, and the protection of trade on the high seas? Well, thanks, Dana. I agree with Secretary, Secretary Pompeo that we've really lost deterrence under the Biden administration. Uh, deterrence is a combination of, of capacity to respond, but also the will. And uh, unfortunately, President Biden hasn't demonstrated uh, that willingness to, to lead. And as a consequence, Amer uh, our adversaries think America's weak and they're testing us over and over again and we're not responding adequately. All right. You want to be a member of the U.S. Senate. You're running um, as the Republican candidate, unopposed as the Republican primary candidate in Pennsylvania against the incumbent Bob Casey. Somebody you would also serve with is Bernie Sanders. He's a senator from Vermont. This is what he tweeted yesterday. Let me be clear. No more U.S. funding for Netanyahu's illegal, immoral, brutal and grossly disproportionate war against the Palestinian people. Congress must reject any effort to pass $10 billion of unconditional military aid for the right-wing Netanyahu government. You've been on the ground there. You've seen what people have went through on October 7th and since. How do you respond to Bernie Sanders? Well, this is a moment where we need to show solidarity with uh, the people of Israel and really freedom-loving people around the world in this fight against radicalism. And uh, what's clear from my visit here, uh, uh, walking through the kibbutz or many of the, one of the kibbutzes that was attacked, talking with survivors, really seeing horrible footage uh, from the terrorist uh, body cams that showed the, the horror of that day, that we need to destroy Hamas. Uh, Hamas needs to be destroyed by Israel, and we need to stand behind them in doing so. And I, I do think the idea of conditionality makes sense. And, and frankly, in my, in my view, Israel has met those conditions. It's, uh, it's come under attack. It's been a great ally. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's really on the forefront of the fight against uh, radicalism and terrorism in this part of the region. They're a great American ally, and we need to stand, stand tall with them. In one, of, in one of your jobs in the past, you helped deal with terrorism financing, right? Because if you follow the money, where all of this is coming from is important. Yesterday, there was a drone attack in Beirut against a Hamas leader. He's 57 years old. His name was Saleh Aruri. And it is proclaimed that he was one of the people who helped organize the attacks on October 7th. And so the United States anonymously has been asking Israel to be more targeted in its attacks against Hamas. This was outside of Israel's borders. And you see some people suggesting, well, now it will embolden the Hamas fighters in order to do more. To me, they're already quite emboldened. And Israel would be justified in going after these leaders wherever they are. Do you expect them to continue to do so? And will it escalate and risk a wider war. Well, what's happened under the Biden administration really started with President Obama is we gave Iran a free pass and the Iran deal really put money back in the hands of the Iranians. And, and as uh, many of us said at the time, uh, me included, that money would ultimately find itself in the hands of terrorist groups, Islamic Jihad, Hamas, uh, Hezbollah and others. And that's exactly what's happened. And uh, and so, first of all, we need to we need to put the sanctions back in place right now. Iran's uh, exporting 60 billion dollars of oil to China. We need to put sanctions back in place and take away that funding source. Second, I think uh, taking very targeted actions, as the United States did against Soleimani and as Israel has done in the past, is an excellent way to in a very discreet way, take out the leadership of this terrible group, Hamas, and, and Hamas needs to be eradicated. As I said, uh, I have seen the evil firsthand. There's no way you can live side by side with a group that's capable of doing what it did on October 7th. And, uh, and that's why Israel has every right, but also an absolute necessity of eradicating Hamas and its ability to ever uh, take action like that again. All right, Dave McCormick, the Senate Listen. candidate in Pennsylvania for the Republican Party, thank you so much for being with us today and have a safe trip home. Thank you. Being one race we're watching a lot. There's, like, uh, there's all the race, the race here, uh, yes. the domestic politics.